pregnant women are at the top of the list when it comes to those most likely to be exposed to the H1N1 virus or swine flu. Doctors are concerned for this population of people and they want to make sure expecting moms are taking the warning seriously. Our King's Lauren Johnson joins us live in the studio with our swine flu coverage. Hey Lauren. Hey there Merle. For nine months women worry almost daily about what's going on inside their bellies. Now add to the fear of swine flu and it can make an expecting mother fearful. Doctors are doing all they can to calm the fears and encourage women to communicate closely with their doctors. I think we need to be concerned about pregnant women. Dr. Manoj Jain, an infectious disease doctor in Memphis, says pregnant women are more likely to get infected with the novel H1N1 swine flu virus. As their belly is getting bigger, the uterus enlarging, it sort of crowds the lungs and makes respiratory uh, or breathing difficulty uh, more difficult than usual. Pregnancy also alters the immune system for the mother, which could be another reason why pregnant women are more susceptible. If they do become sick, they're more likely to have complications. Complications such as early labor, pneumonia. Expecting mothers only represent about 1% of the population according to the CDC, but they represent about 6% of hospitalizations and 6% of deaths from the novel virus. Jane says studies show pregnant women are six to 10 times more likely to die than a non-pregnant woman. This is not one of the things that you wanna sort of say, I'll deal with it, I'll get better. Um, if you have a fever, you have flu-like symptoms, you need to call your doctor. Pregnant women are at the front of the line for the expected 45 million vaccines that will roll out by the end of October. Doctors encourage all of them to vaccinate. A pregnant woman gets the vaccine, she builds antibodies, and those antibodies are transferred to the baby. So you're protecting that baby for a period of three, six months, and that's really good for the baby. While the federal government continues to be coordinated and aggressive, doctors continue to emphasize vaccination once available is the key. Now for complete coverage on swine flu, stay with Fox 13. And for past stories, the latest CDC recommendations and guidelines, visit our website. We have devoted an entire page solely to swine flu information. Live in the studio, Lauren Johnson, Fox 13.